in this short video I'm going to share with you everything what I did and how to replace the final drive sprocket on excavator without splitting a truck or removing it completely. It works for me and it might help you to save some time. I just have finished one side and let's go to another side. Okay, final drive sprocket is removed and as you can see it's pointy, it's worn out, not good, time for new one. It took me roughly around two and a half hours to do one side and yeah, first I lifted my machine and set it on blocks. Make sure you have enough room underneath for slack and some work place. Okay, I have those blocks, but I will take you more step by step and tell you what I did. As you can see, my track is off the sprocket, new sprocket is installed. I started my bolts and this machine has a power clamp. It helped me to pull the track forward, but if you don't have it, you can use a bucket and set of chains or another machine just like that. Okay, second thing, I released the tension on the track. It will look like that with the sack and retracted my idler in. Then I went and pulled much slack as I could off the idler, helped myself with the fork and walk it track of the idler. As you can see, it's on the side and I left the forks there just in case if truck will fall, it will rest on the forks and my idler wheel is free and truck is just on the side of the undercarriage and then I lifted the track with the forks and slided those blocks underneath to support and not having that sag on the bottom and have more slack on the front and as you can see that's kind of more or less even and then I went with the chain just to hold the truck and from one side to another and something like that make sure truck won't fall over and let's go to the front and next I pulled the truck over the final drive sprocket and then I put a chain same as we did on the back make sure it will be secure and one fall and uh, yeah as you can see I have a block of wood to keep it up we have a tons of room to remove the old one and put in new one and as you can see I have my bolts just started and yep I retapped a few holes and uh, yeah in five six hours I can do both sides on the excavator as you can see on the bottom and by the way this is a John Deere 2154D logger hydraulic road builder excavator and this <laughs> sprocket should last at least seven eight ten thousand hours yeah more holes just to re-thread it make sure all tight to specs as it should be quality is first and yeah time is most important too all right as you can see it's just all coming together and um, yeah, guys if you have any questions put it down in the comment section below and uh, yeah this is just a short video to give you just an idea okay and put it when you have all bolts torqued then you just need to put it on uh, final drive sprocket first and then over the either and yeah pump the <laughs> grease set a tension and it will look like this S well simple as that but yeah i hope it will help someone take care and see you soon bye bye